decor expert, welcome to Make My Space Work, a series where I make over the diverse workspaces of entrepreneurs. These are people who are busy hustling, and the last thing on their to-do list is making over their office spaces. Today I'm helping my good friend, Melissa Maker. She's the owner of Clean My Space. I've known her for a few years. She's always been there for me, so it is time for me to repay the favor. And I have $1,000 to make it happen. We have tons more makeovers coming your way, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Hi, my name is Melissa Maker, and I have three businesses. The first one is a cleaning service company called Clean My Space. The second one is a digital media company that's home to my YouTube channel and website. And the third one is called Makers Clean, where I sell my premium line of cleaning tools. I've never really paid attention to the workspace that I have because I feel like as long as I have a laptop and a cell phone and a drink of some sort, I can pretty much work anywhere, which we all know is terrible for your back. You know, I have an office, I have a desk, but it's always been deprioritized. I've never really spent time making that room look beautiful or feel like a space that I actually want to work in. My dream office would have beautiful built-ins, inspiring, somewhere that I can go and work and feel motivated and excited and an area where I can potentially do some filming as well. Alexandra, we are friends. So I know if you are coming into my house, you are gonna do a great job making over my office. I know I can trust you. It always amazes me how entrepreneurs like Melissa build these massive empires from their dining room tables, their kitchens, coffee shops. I've kind of done the same. I have this tiny round table that I do all my work at, but Melissa has the space for an office. She's just not utilizing it. This is the first makeover within the Make My Space Work series that I've done for a friend, and so the pressure's on. I need to make sure that she actually likes this or else it might be kind of awkward <laughs> if she doesn't. So we are at Melissa's house for prep day. So Melissa has always wanted built-in cabinets back here. When we were talking about doing this makeover together, she was like, you know what? I'm going to invest in those cabinets. So today we're gonna to be painting the walls white. It's neutral, warm, fresh. And then I'm gonna be putting up wallpaper on this wall. So the first thing we're gonna do is clear the space, move all that furniture to the side, Okay, so these are the walls we're tackling. When you're hanging wallpaper, if you are also painting the walls, you always wanna cut in first before you hang the wallpaper. If the walls or the ceiling aren't even, you have a little bit of a buffer zone. This wallpaper is going to bring in some fun pattern, but it's also gonna serve as a backdrop for Melissa's outfit of the day photos, maybe some of her videos. I will admit it, I had a really hard time finding a good wallpaper. I knew that Melissa wanted a rug with tons of color, like bright pops of pattern, and so I knew that the wallpaper couldn't compete with that. One thing that I really love to do that I know will help you guys at home is to try different combos on your computer. So try different colors together, different patterns. You really get a visualization of what it's gonna look like. You guys, this wallpaper is up. It looks so good. I love how we carry it over the door. The built-ins are gonna have open shelving, so we're gonna start painting the rest of these blue walls white. I think it's gonna be a good neutral backdrop because Melissa wants tons of color in here, so I really want those decor pieces to be the things that pop. Our prep day is coming to an end. We've covered up all the wallpaper because Melissa is gonna to have to come into this room, want this room to be as much of a surprise as possible. You always match the walls. Whenever we paint a pink wall, you're in pink. Today you're in gray white. He does it on purpose. Okay, we're officially out of here. Melissa, I cannot wait to see those built-ins. Hey Alexandra, so the installers got here, they're setting up, but I know they had to take down some of that brown paper because they started doing measurements, so I'm actually not going down there. In the meantime, I'll just be up here folding laundry and being nervous. It's day two and I kind of get a mini reveal myself. I am going to walk into this room, take a look at the built-ins. I'm so excited. I never get to do a reveal, okay. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because we have to pull this off today. I have to work with the built-ins and I hope everything looks good all together. They look incredible. I can't wait to see how the wallpaper looks with it. Wow. Ooh, except there's a missing baseboard. <laughs> okay, gotta solve that. 
seeing it with the built-in shelves, the gold knobs, it's so Melissa, there's no doubt in my mind that she's going to love this. Okay, so I somehow have to like <laughs> climb under this built-in and paint this blue strip of uh, paint. It's gonna be an awkward shot, guys. <laughs> Also just wanna note that Melissa is changing all the baseboards in this room eventually. So this is just a quick fix. It's the moment of truth. Will this rug look good against this wallpaper? It kinda has to. I'm a little bit nervous about this because it's so much color, but Melissa really wanted it to be happy and inspiring. Wow, that is nice. Now I did order another size. So I had some options, but I'm gonna return whichever one we don't use in this space. And while this is the perfect size for this room, just like out of curiosity, I wanna open the bigger one to see how it looks. At first glance, I feel like this rug is gonna be way too big, but this carpet is being pulled up eventually. Melissa doesn't like it. So what I'm thinking is the bigger one might do a better job at concealing. I'm actually thinking that maybe the bigger one is the best one after all. The small one would have gotten lost with her desk on top of it, but the big one is really going to frame her desk, frame the back walls. I'm gonna go big. The next piece I'm bringing in is on the pricier side. It was really important for Melissa to have an ergonomically friendly desk. It moves up into a standing desk really seamlessly. She can also sit at it and it is very good quality. Yeah, I, um, Really, I'm missing Chico right now. I'm just not good with diagrams <laughs> or like multiple steps. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? I'm smart, I'm capable, I think I can do it. So guys, here's the deal. We have a few hours to pull this makeover off. There's a lot of steps involved in building this desk. It's very heavy. So I'm gonna call in Amanda, my producer, to help me build this desk. Hey Amanda. These makeovers are all about doing things on a budget, but I always encourage you guys to splurge on those things that you know you're really going to use and that are gonna help you in the long run. Tag your furniture building buddy. Not gonna lie, I think, I don't know, I was gonna say I like Chico better, but actually I <laughs> Melissa better appreciate all the blood, sweat, and tears I put into building this desk. Melissa, you owe me a pool party in the summer. Press up and down buttons at the same time. <gasps> Melissa can stand to work, she can sit to work, and this was so important for her. She's working so much that investing in a really high-tech special desk like this was an absolute must for her. So I decided on a white desk because I wanted it to match the built-ins. She can use it as a surface to work, to film, she can move it around against this backdrop if she wants. And just wanna point out one more thing. This is gonna be Melissa's makeup station. She has this awesome chair, so that's here for now, but then she can just move it over here if she wants to sit at her desk. Now it is time to start styling the open shelves. This is one of my most favorite things to do, and it really finishes off a room and brings tons of personality. Melissa is a huge plant lover, so I'm bringing in lots of plants. This room gets so much light, so they will thrive in here. If you guys are overwhelmed at the thought of decorating your open shelving, your bookshelf, or maybe a console table in your living room, just start. Just put a few things down, step back, move things around, and suddenly you'll find that you have this beautiful display. And then finally, I'm adding this mirror right in the middle. This is the mirror that was on her old desk. The space looks so incredible. Like I said, I was so nervous about this makeover because Melissa's a good friend of mine. I knew she would tell me if she hated it, but before we see what she thinks, it's time to check in with the final budget counter. What did I spend? So I saved $200? Yeah. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I even managed to get the desk that she wanted in this space. Super happy with that. Let's bring her in. Wait, so should I cover? Yeah, keep, yeah. Them keep okay. your eyes closed. And I'm not one of those horrible people that's peeking. My eyes are actually closed because I genuinely appreciate a good surprise. Okay, first of all, can we just acknowledge your hair before you open your yes. eyes? Yes, like, yes. Guys. Viewers, 
Well, I missed the well, memo, we were apparently. Doing a photo, no, we were doing a photo shoot today, and it, right. it looked so pretty, and I have lashes and flowers in my hair, and I'm like, you know what? When in Rome. <laughs> okay, Melissa, I am terrified all of a sudden. Just let me see it already. Okay, okay. Picture <laughs> what your room looked like before. I can't. It was like it was a, blue. it was, it wasn't even Tiffany blue. It was like a weird blue green. The furniture was not suitable. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Do you like I it? I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Aren't the built-ins stunning? desk. You can move it up really I high. I want to do like an interpretive dance of excitement <laughs> right now. I'm like so excited. Do you like the rug? You said yeah. color. No, this is perfect because the room had the wrong kind of color before. Yes. It was not inspiring. And just looking at this, seeing all the props, because like you're Mrs. Props. I, <laughs> I cannot prop, okay? And you just, you picked out a bunch of cute stuff. Do you think I, you're gonna use this room now? I do. I actually can't wait because if you see the dining room upstairs, it's like a pseudo office for me now and there yes. are papers and yes. like this is so great for doing what I have to do to my face when we're filming yes. and then this is, you know, I have all my proper storage. Like yeah. everything that I need is here and it's Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I feel like pleasure. I could only trust someone like you oh, thanks, or just you to do this. Really. No, you, you owe me like 8,000 pool parties this summer. <laughs> we'll have like an indoor outdoor office party. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this makeover. If your office needs a refresh, our contact details are in the description box below. And you should totally apply because. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>